it is right at about six o'clock on the dot. I'm uh, gonna be doing the Buncombe 55 kilometer trail race uh, today. That's roughly 34.1 miles, I believe. Uh, never done an ultra marathon before, but uh, I have hiked close to that um, in a single day without a problem. So I'm hoping that uh, jogging or running it shouldn't be a big problem either. stuck like in foot and a half deep mud so that was fun so I'm running today 34 minutes into the trail run I know this whole video is going to shake you Knees are feeling all right. Feeling some in my right hip. Got hurdles coming up. You can see these. <laughs> Ever feel like you're being chased? A whole bunch of them. So lo and behold, Running an ultra marathon. Two people back from me is a fellow hammock camper. Got a four bonnet blackbirds, what you right. say? So, just a troll. We haven't got him all the way as a member yet, but maybe we'll get him to be a donating member so we can see this video by the end of the trail. Oh, yeah. Well, hopefully that aid station will be up here soon. I'll tell you, an hour and 40 minutes into the trail. A little hungry definitely thirsty running out of water and we start coming upon the aid station very excited hello hello well, here for a little while my uh Racing partners, uh, Richard. Knee really started hurting probably about four minutes ago. So, it's hurting. So, it'll be alright though. Two hours, 15 minutes. Hug and my right knee is trying to eat me for breakfast. I'm definitely struggling. I'm, I believe I'm right at about 11 miles. Maybe not quite. And I'm, uh, I'm about a third of the way done. I'm going to complete it if I have to crawl across the finish line. But, uh, I don't think I'd look forward to that too much. Walking every uphill. I need, I need some help with my right knee's IT band. Oh, race buddy left, which is fine. Best of luck to you, Richard. Past mile marker 12 about two and a half minutes ago. I've been able to start jogging slowly again after giving my knee some rest. It's, uh, it's hurting. I can do this. This is beautiful. You gotta see this area. I'll slow down so you can see. Isn't that lovely? Alright. I've been running off and on for the last mile. Should be very close to mile marker 14. I'm taking this a mile at a time. Moving forward to the next aid station, which should be close to mile marker 14. Get some more water there. It's 
some ibuprofen. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, so you see these sticks? A whole lot freaking heavier than my regular hiking sticks. Uh, I got them right after the aid station at mile 14. 14. Next aid station is at mile 20, six miles apart. Not too bad. Uh, there's a water drop in between. Found somebody's uh, water bottle on the side of the trail. Still had lots of water in it, so I'll find somebody who's in trouble. I've got that extra water bottle I picked up. But these sticks are going to save me. They've helped me uh, through the whole, through the last mile and a half. So, having fun. Sore, but having fun. I need these poles again. Well, I want to say trail magic is not just for those who are hikers. Some guy, another one uh, who came up behind me, gave me this for my knee to help isolate my... Uh, my IT band. It helps so much. I don't want to get rid of the sticks, even though I can now jog again. Uh, these are perfect size sticks, but uh, carrying them is uh, is a bit heavy. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be able to finish this now, which is good because I don't like starting something and giving up halfway through. Look at this bridge. I like bridges. Bridges are nice. Water source doesn't look terrible. Definitely, I've been keeping the uh, poles. They've come in handy a lot. Um, just past uh, mile marker 20. I've been at this for 4 hours and 51 minutes. Um, my knee hurts. Thankfully, that uh, without that band, I, I don't know if I would have made it this far. Not in the time I have. I'm still making good time as far as hiking goes. Um, doing about 3.5 miles an hour. Instead of jogging or running about seven. Seven, what am I thinking? Anyways, I'm uh, probably more like five or six. Uh, I should be coming up on the next aid station very soon. It's starting to look a little bit cloudy. <clears throat> haven't seen anybody since the aid station guy who uh, helped me out with my with that strap for my knee he was there um, iced my knee for about five minutes rested drank a lot of water some Gatorade candy corn all kind of good stuff and uh, on my way uh, to the next aid station which is eight miles away from that one um, I'm already 45 minutes or 40 minutes away from the last aid station. I'm still trucking pretty good. Um, looking kind of dark. I kind of hope it doesn't rain because I've got about six and a half to seven more miles. I have about six and a half miles left to go before I get to the next aid station. I should have a shelter there, but and then it's only four miles to the finish. So, uh, should be done somewhere around five o'clock. Okay, um, I should, I should be at four miles from the next aid station, according to my watch. Maybe I'm hiking slower than I thought. I haven't picked it up there for a while, I'm trying to squeeze as much out of my knee as possible. Um, I've seen one other person, they passed me. Keeping a pretty slow pace. I'll tell you, some of the outfits some people wear out here, I mean, I'm one to talk, but uh, different. Okay, seven hours, 43 minutes so far. I'm leaving the aid station at mile marker 28. I'm hobbling along, my left knee's starting to fill it too. And I was just informed it's not really a 55 kilometer or, you know, 34.1. It's more like a 36 and a half mile. <sighs> All right. But we're going to get this. Looks a little foreboding, doesn't it? Getting dark again. No rain yet. All right. So, so far, 
and being informed back at the last station, there were 60 of us that started. Um, I am, uh, there are seven people behind me, and three of the people who went before me took the 45k option, and at least two of the people behind me are taking the 45k option. So, I guess that's not terrible, right? Alright, these poles over here have been with me for the last, like, uh, 18 miles. I've got like four and a half miles left, and I'm going to do this without poles the way I started it. Um, we're going to find out how this goes. Let's see. I'm hoping that, uh, that everything uh, all together is going to make me all right. So here we go. All right, so... Nine hours, 54 no, minutes. Nine, I, I finished it. No, Andy, you can have it because... These are a miracle. I gotta get one.